Hey guys, it's Joe at Drum Hand Productions, and I'll tell you what, I got something exciting that I uh, got coming today, and I'm uh, waiting for UPS to get here, and uh, I'm waiting for a box so I can show you what's in this box and what I got going. It's not exactly the, uh, it's not an RC plane, it's not an RC boat, it's not an RC car, it's something else. So when it gets here, I'm going to show it to you, and we're going to see what it is. All right. uh, UPS just dropped off the box. I did a partial unboxing and uh, so I could go over better with you. And this is what we got. Like I said, it's not a uh, RC plane or car or truck. It is the brand new SpaceX Falcon 9 with Crew Dragon capsule made by Estes. And this is a static model or a usable model, okay? So I'm gonna just show you a couple of things here about the box, really excited about it. I used to do model rockets when I was a kid and this stands about 25 inches tall. Beautiful matte finished box. The SpaceX logo on this side and the Estes and some details here. We have the Crew Dragon up on top capsule. The launch is nine Merlin engines, and the second thrust is just one uh, for second stage propulsion is one Merlin engine. It's a scale model. This is one 100. It includes everything, display stand, removable nozzles for display, uh, the clear fins, everything. So it looks really nice. As I said, I already took it out of the box. Wanted to see exactly a little bit more details of it. And I love this box. It's so nice. It's for, great for display and everything. All right. Let me get this down here for you. This is our display case. Very nice detail. Got the SpaceX logo, the American flag, the Falcon 9, the Dragon capsule right up top here. This just comes right out like that. So it's looking gorgeous. Those fins don't come off. Those are for uh, when it lands, because this is a reusable rocket. And those are those nine Merlin engines down underneath there. Really, really nice. Just set that back in there. And we'll pull this up. Just set this off to the side of the rocket. The rocket has got a plastic coating around inside. It's basically cardboard. There's another box here that I already opened, so I wanted to show, show you a little bit more details about what you get and inside here you get the display stand I'll show you that these are the clear fins that must go on and i'll show you that when you're launching it you have a manual one year warranty the parachute and this part right here is for the uh when you're going to put it on the uh display stand for yourself because you can use this just as a static model for display which a lot of people will do because I got this off of SpaceX uh, the SpaceX.com uh, uh, store and uh, it is made for them by Estes and it is a rather pricey rocket it's probably one of their more expensive $150 if you want to put it on the display case you're going to want to take off this piece right here it just twists off, okay? And you take this piece, and inside there, there's the cardboard, and that's where your actual rocket will go, and I'll go into that, because I also got, if you buy this, they'll automatically send you to a link so you can buy your startup kit with your rockets and your launcher and your uh, everything, and I'll show you that in a minute. So this goes in there, and then this part will go back on like that twist that on like that and then it'll go into the display case, uh, display stand and get it in that little hole just like that. One, zero, ignition, lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. America has launched.
And so rises the new era of American space flight, and with it the nominal. ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. Side, you have the manual, and it just tells you everything, the parts and stuff that you're gonna get, how to put the stand on, uh, preparing the recovery system, because, you know, you're gonna put your parachute on, and I'm not gonna really go into that right now, and your parachute's gonna get attached to the capsule that goes inside there. Yeah, had to fold your, had to fold, uh, had to fold the and install and tie off the uh, uh, the parachute to the capsule. Uh, you're gonna need some recovery wadding, and I got all that coming up. Show you here in a moment. So everything is right there. How to insert your rocket and putting on your fins, and I'll show you here in a second. You have to put those these uh, clear plastic fins for it to flight, and then over here. It's just gonna tell you how to put it on the uh, the rocket launch stand and how to ignite it and some safety uh, safety tips and everything. You know, you're gonna wanna make sure you're in low wind. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're uh, not around trees and you're in decent wide open field so you could get this thing, uh, you know, you, you don't wanna lose it. $150 rocket, you really don't wanna lose it, okay? If we were going to use the rocket, first off what we're gonna do is we have to take this piece back off right here and we're going to put our fins on and our fins just go in just like this so that way when you put it on the uh on the rocket launch pad it goes up and it flies straight so that's that you will also get when you purchase this to go right over to the estes link and you want to maybe buy the starter kit now the starter kit is going to have I think the starter kit's like $97. All right, somewhere around there, I can't remember, but I'll let you know. You're gonna get your, this is your launch controller right here. So we'll go into that once we get it all set up to go out launching, but I just wanna show you a nice unboxing. Uh, this is the actual porta pad. So this gets all set up like a tripod, put it on. You're gonna wanna use they're gonna give you some starters, and these are the igniters that go into the engines. You have your wadding, you're gonna need your wadding that goes down inside first, and then you put your parachute because there's an ejector that pushes the, uh, the capsule off the top, and you don't want it to burn your uh, parachute. So you're gonna put about six, seven pieces of uh, wadding from here into there. And this rocket is recommended to take Two different types of engines and they give you six so we're going to be able to do six launches you got c53 and c63 you get more power out of this one and a little less out of this one so the higher i think the higher the number c6 c5 c6 is going to give you more power so you get all of this inside if you do the whole thing properly you get your rocket and your entire launch startup system with it and that's it that's what you get really nice love it so if you're going to want to get one guys i'm going to put links down below make sure you check them out like subscribe we will get this out and launch it and i uh, show you it's supposed to go up to about 300 feet with these uh with these basically these uh these uh these engines and uh, we're gonna go from there. So I really hope you enjoy it. It's a beautiful rocket. Like I said, you could use it or you could just put it on display. I'm gonna do both. But I'm gonna make sure you're in a wide open field. You don't want no trees and low, low, very low if any wind. Okay, that's one thing I always learned when I was a, a kid because these things you know, are coming down. If you got a little wind here, it's gonna be higher wind up, up there. So, you know, be careful. But anyways, uh, it's something different for our hobby, for me, and uh, I want to thank you very much. So, uh, like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment, any questions, let me know. This is Joe at Drone Man Productions. Salute, thank you, and we are out. Mm -hmm.